get this recorded. Um, what's going on, everybody? I'm going to go ahead and kick this thing off. Super, super excited um, for today, for this call, for every single one of you that are on this call right now. I'm very, very grateful. I know you guys have a busy schedule with this quarantine thing going on. <laughs> Everybody's got plans. I'm just playing. Um, guys, this call I'm really, really excited about because, number one, we're going to be able to hear from an individual, Mikey Sotero, Chairman 10, um, an individual that has been learning how to trade profitably over the last two and a half, three years. Somebody that I, I've been, you know, working with side by side, has been in my corner, um, you know, for the last two and a half years. I remember the first time I met him. Um, he's been promoting me and putting me in a position to really take responsibility and act on the opportunity at hand and really allow myself to grow and develop into the person that I know I'm called to be. Um, he's somebody that has really allowed me to believe in myself. And guys, when you have somebody that is constantly telling you, you know, that they believe in you and you can go out there and, and really tackle whatever you set your mind to, like you want to keep them in your circle. You want to keep them and, and associated with them. So I want to bring up Mikey in just a second. I just want to say a quick announcement um, just in case I can at the end of this call. I want to tell y'all really quick, we've got a schedule going on with live IM Zoom overviews every single day of the week. It's Sunday through Friday at number one, 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 3 p.m. Eastern. That's Sunday through Friday, guys. Write this down. 12 p.m. Pacific, 3 p.m. Eastern every single day, Sunday through Friday. Okay, that's number one. And then I'm going to start doing next week officially two calls every single day. Um, so one at 3 p.m. Eastern, and I'm going to do another one at 9 p.m. Eastern. Guys, this is opening up for every single person to tap into with guests and plug your teams into because we want to continue to allow you guys to have the ability to plug people into live overviews. They're so powerful. And not only that, but give those that want to step up, take responsibility, and develop their leadership skills and really build this business and be able to intro on these calls and get good at these skills. So, guys, that's what I want to share with you. Make sure you take some notes. Um, have some questions in hand. Mikey, however you want to do this, let people unmute themselves or write in the chat box um, their questions. You are going to go ahead and take it away, man. I appreciate you. Awesome. Abby, can you hear me? Just thumbs up is good. Um, cool. Well, guys, definitely great to be here. Um, you know, see some, some new names, some familiar names. We got, uh, you know, Miss Abby on the call. We got Angel, Kadeem, Kadeem wrapping up Platinum 1000 right now, Tony, uh, Alexandra. And, uh, you know, if we haven't gotten a chance to meet, uh, definitely, you know, great to meet you guys today. Um, but yeah, you know, I, I love Abby's energy. You know, her consistency is really what, um, you know, I, I don't choose to work with people based on um, their current rank or what they've done in the past. Uh, I choose to personally work with people that, you know, I see where they're going, right? Because my mentor saw where I was going uh, almost seven years ago, right? My first mentor was making $50,000 a week at 27 or 26 years old. And he said, yo, you have something special inside of you. And I'm like, yeah, BS, that sounds like some, you know, motivational Les Brown, you know, Les Brown talk. Um, but he believed in me, right? So we can open this up as a Q&A. But I really just want you guys to realize, to kick off this call, and I have until 8 o'clock, so we have time, um, it is really, you have to believe in yourself before other people believe in you, number one. And number two is you have to believe in people on your team, right? You can't look at a Platinum 150 as a Platinum 150. See, when I see Angel Morales on the call, you know, he's got a little cute picture there. You guys can turn your cameras on if you want, you know, Tony. You guys can definitely turn your cameras on. Um, you got good looking people on here, so you can turn your cameras on. Um, you know, when I look at Angel Morales, I don't see right a platinum 1000. I see a chairman 10 Angel Morales. Now, even if Angel can't see it, because I see him that way, that's, how, that's who he could become if he eventually sees that, if he eventually buys into that vision, right? So... Uh, we can open this up. I think the easiest thing to do is just throw your questions in the chat box because um, there might be like static or, or anything in the background. So uh, we can open up the chat. Uh, I see somebody is driving. So if you want to unmute yourself, you know, don't type in the chat box. Um, you can you can unmute yourself. So you guys can start jumping to the chat box. Uh, I'll, I will use the whiteboard. If you guys have 
if you guys um, have people on your team, you know, go into your group chats, tell them to get on here. Uh, I've done like seven or eight of these Q and A calls the past week or two, and uh, you know, some of your guys' names are on this board over here. But th this week, you know, in the organization alone, we've we've broken a lot of ranks. I mean, I don't even know anymore. I think like ten platinum six hundreds, six or seven P one Ks in the past five or six days. Um, a P five thousand, uh, two P two Ks. Uh, we we had we had a group of brothers come in, and um. They basically live in LA and in two weeks, straight organic, not one person of spillover uh, went zero to P1K. So now is the time. So let's go to these questions. Okay, so we'll start with this one. So Tony asked, uh, what are your daily routines and how many people do you approach a day? Okay, you guys can just continue dropping your questions um, and I'll just answer them. So, right, DMO, right, daily method of operation. Uh, you know, and every day could be different. You know, today, uh, I'll be very honest, I woke up at 10 a.m., okay? Today, I woke up at 10 a.m. Uh, I had a call scheduled at 11. So, I always try to do, not try. I, I want to get a call done uh, before noon, right? I want to get a workout in and at least one call, and this was with a prospect, right, a call with a prospect. Uh, done before noon. Okay, now is every day. Uh, no, today I worked out. I didn't work out before noon today. I worked out like at one o'clock right after these calls. Um, but a normal day, right? When I'm not stuck in my house, um, getting gym done, I'm getting at least one call done before noon. Okay, so I start off the day with productivity. Um, daily routines, I read every day. Okay, right now I'm reading a book called The Genius Life. Okay. It's not really about network marketing. Um, you know, right here next to me, I have this massage thing on my seat right now. Um, Building an Empire, ABCs of Success. Guys, this is a book that not too many people know about. I want you guys to write it down. Okay. Laws of Growth. It's called Being Happy. Okay. This is an extremely powerful book. Um, not too many people have ever even seen this book. Right? It looks like when you open it, it looks like a coloring book. This book is powerful. Extremely, extremely powerful, Dr. Andrew Matthews. Um, so check that out. So I read every day. Okay, when it comes to the business, I do three things every day. I prospect every day. How many people? Just depends. Minimum five, usually five to ten people, uh, whether it's Facebook, Instagram. Um, I prospect and I follow up with old prospects every day. That's non-negotiable. I have a list. I have three types of lists. Okay, write this down. I have a uh, prospect list of people that I have not yet shared the information with. I have a follow-up list. And then I have a list of new traders that I'm launching. Okay, number two is I present the information every day. Now, when I say present, that means I'm getting people to see the presentation. Does it mean that I'm doing, you know, an hour call with somebody? No, guys, I don't do 40-minute presentations. I don't get on a Zoom call with somebody who's never seen the information and break down everything. Look, I don't have time for that and you don't have time for that and you want to build a duplicatable business. So, you know, I'll even show you guys. I just got off a training call and I showed them this and they were laughing. Um, and then the third thing, let me give that to you real quick. The third thing is I promote calls every day. Okay. I promote and I do launch calls every day. So I just did a call with a, a P150. I just broke uh, a personal enrollment of mine who just hit P150. So I did a launch call with their team uh, literally an hour ago. Um, you know, after this call, I have a three-way call for my prospects. I have launching a leader at 10 p.m. Eastern. Um, and that's all I have scheduled right now. Okay. So I do these three things every day. Now, when prospecting, I'm creating conversations. Okay, so I want, I'm going to be very real here. Look at this. Okay. I got a message at 4.30. <laughs> Look, you guys can read it for yourself. And, you know, I thought it was a joke. So I just kind of had confidence. I didn't really try to convince him. I was just very straightforward. I said, let's build a real business. Um, and then here's what I said. I said, if you want to build a real business, let me know. I would actually be interested. <laughs> so then all I did was I cleared his schedule. He told me he gets off work in an hour. 
it's been an hour, so I'm gonna message him. So, but I'm not gonna send the video until he can watch it, okay? And we'll, we'll get into those questions after. Uh, but these are the things I'm doing every day. Uh, obviously, pr pray every day, uh, read every day, prospect, follow up, present, promote every day. Um, maybe your schedule is a little bit different due to the quarantine. That's fine. Um, but these would be the things that I do, I'm doing every day right now. You know, obviously eating at least once a day at this point. Uber Eats twice a day. Um, just kidding. Okay, so what are the most important what, are the, what skills are the most important to learn from someone who's just starting out the build? Uh, the most important is the exposure process um, or prospecting, right? You can say prospecting as well. But this is a skill. It's a skill to take somebody from your list and take them through the process. Okay, so when I take somebody through the process, I'm not going to go too deep into this but I, cause I have a video on it, but all I'm doing is I'm piquing their interest. You guys have seen this before. Probably I'm sharing the video and then I'm doing a three way call. Okay. Now the company's added like 60 or 70,000 people in, in like two months. The company's about a double, probably in the next 30 days, complete double from London convention. And I really think about how, right? I ask myself, well, how is that happening? And why is that happening now? Right, people are losing their jobs, but people keep joining. You know, and I think one of the factors for growth is when everybody can do the same thing. Okay, when everybody's following the same system, when everybody's speaking the same language. See, my first company at the peak was 21 million a month. Okay, we were doing like 20, 21 million a month. Company did like 245 million dollars in my first company with energy drinks. Okay. Our company is at almost 20 million a month right now. And this thing hasn't even started yet. And I think about how that company grew is very similar to how we're going now when everybody is all at home doing the same thing. Everybody's basically only building online right now. Now, I'm not saying it's going to stay that way because we're going back into the trenches, we're going back into living rooms, we're going back into events. But everything that you say and everything that you do needs to come from a place of, of everybody can do it. Not just Abby, not just Kadeem, not just Mike Sotero. So the PS3, I get you started and I ask you, well, hey, Abby, what type of, what type of person are you? A type one, two, or three? Do you just want to trade? Do you want to trade and get two and free? Or do you want to trade and create residual income? You say, Mike, I'm a type two, I'm a type three. You know, we go through... Uh, the steps of getting started in the back office, the five steps, okay? You go through the Chris Derrick launch videos. That person can do that by themselves. You go through the five steps with them. Step one is their why. Step two, get their product set up. And then step three, four, three and four is making the list and teaching them the invite to invite to a call or a launch call. Guys, keep it simple, okay? Keep it simple. Hey, John, what are you doing? This is a question. Hey, John, hope everything's going well, whatever, whatever. How, how, how are you, you know, what are you doing during quarantine to make money? Has the quarantine affected your income? Uh, yeah, it has. I actually got laid off, right? That's the conversation. Did a call with a girl who owns a uh, nail salon or something like that, a nail spa, two hours ago from Denver or from Dallas. And she's like, she like kind of like co-owns it. She was kind of like the, the GM. She's basically the GM, right? And she's like, I've kind of been you know, needing an excuse to like leave this. And now there's no business. <laughs> so I left <laughs> and I'm joining, she's getting started today. Um, and that was like a six month follow up. Guys, that girl came to convention in Dallas. That was like six months ago. And now she's joining. Hello. And she's a stud. Like she's a beast. Follow up, follow up with everybody. So the first skill in the business is you got to get good at this. Right, Jim Rohn said something so powerful. He said, what I lack, I make up in numbers. So you could be really bad at presenting. You know, I still think I'm not the best presenter. Uh, you could be really bad at prospecting. But if you can expose enough people, show the plan enough, 
get enough people in the seats. He said promotion can make up for everything else. Okay. So uh, drop a number one if you're still with me and this is making sense. Phone is drop a number. If you can, if you're not, if you're driving, don't do that. Don't drop a number one. Okay. All right, back to the questions. Uh, okay, so let's look. Uh, so building your brand on social media. Okay, I'm just going to give you a few keywords. Okay, you can look at my social media. Okay, look at this. <laughs> you guys want me to enroll him live on this call? I'm going to I'm going to sign this guy up before eight o'clock. <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to attempt to get right down. See, look at, look at the words that I'm using. This is, this is really powerful. So I'm going to wait for him to say yes, but I'm telling him to write down his questions and then drop them in here and I will help you. How many uplines actually do live prospecting? In this company I will help you get started with the process okay boom okay so I'm assuming okay here's the tip to take away for this I'm assuming that he's going to join okay I'm assuming that he's going to get started today because look at the words that I said I said you can write down your questions and then drop them in here in the chat and I will help you get started with the process sound good so I'm, I'm it's an assumption okay Done. Okay, we'll come back to that before this call ends. Okay, so let's go. Um, okay, so here's what I was saying. Swipe coin trade and profit. Let's go. Okay, so when it comes to social media, I'm just going to give you what I do. Okay, you don't have to do it. You can take it away however you want. This is what I do. Okay, so a few things. Number one is your page. If I land on your page, okay. And I, and, I, and I know exactly what you do, that is the problem. If I see Forex everywhere, if I see trading everywhere, if I see network marketing everywhere, it, you're done. Nobody's gonna join you. Okay, when I land on somebody's page, here's what I look at. I look at their profile picture. If they have a picture of their cat, I don't talk to them, okay? The picture needs to be of you, okay? It needs to be a clear picture of you, okay? Try to. It doesn't matter how many followers you have. Just try to keep the following under the followers. Okay, that makes sense? Um, in your bio, that's something I look at right away. You know, what is this person about, right? You know, I look at somebody's bio, they don't have a bio. Well, they're, they're probably not interesting, right? Um, you can use the stories, but when you look at the pictures, see, you have to know what Instagram is. You have to know what Facebook is. Facebook's a little bit more professional. Facebook's more, maybe a little bit older people now but there are six figure earners on Facebook waiting to join a company. And if you're not on Facebook, you're not going to get them in your business. So three words. Okay. Number one is curiosity. You have to create curiosity. Okay. Curiosity. How do I create curiosity? Is I become curious. Oh wow. That was breakthrough. Mike is let's say you're on this call right now at some point. Okay. At some point, take a screenshot of the attendees or whatever you see that brings value to you and post it online. Tag each other, repost each other, create curiosity in your, on your social media. Because when people are curious, like this guy was, I'm gonna show you another example, okay, a few minutes ago. Okay, this guy is watching the video right now, okay? Look at this. Okay, I'm waiting for a reply. Same thing, 629 this morning, actually. I didn't see it, I was sleeping at 629. What business is this? Can you share me how it works? Hey bro, uh, you guys can read it for yourself. Write down your questions and look at what this guy did. Is he messaged me all his questions. So when somebody's questions are now answered, what are they ready to do? They're ready to get started, right? So I'm waiting for the reply. Number one is curiosity. Number two is provide value. 
right? I've been doing, you know, this white quote thing for a long time, but you want to post who you are. So like, I love sports. I love working out. So it can't just be Forex, business, no, 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 guys. It has to be, who are you? What does Angel love? Angel loves football, right? Angel loves sports. Post about, like I post about the Dodgers all the time in my story, right? You know, post about, about you because there are people that are following you and I have a training on my YouTube. It's public. You guys can go watch it later. It's like an hour training. But there are people that are following you, and when they're following somebody, they're looking to join somebody that's like themselves. That makes sense. People follow people like themselves, but are in a better, but but feel like that person can help them. Okay, so one is curiosity, two is value, and, and then if I could give you a third tip, uh, it would be consistency. You have to be consistent. Okay. You know, if not every day, you need to be posting, you need to be posting every day, okay? You can go to the bottom of my Instagram. This might take too long. I'm not going to do it on this call. But you go to the bottom of my Instagram, and I've been consistent for, for a long time, okay? If you don't need a videographer. You don't need any of that. If you have an iPhone camera, you can take pictures, okay? So the tips one more time for social media. And then I'm going to erase the whiteboard. Value, curiosity, value, consistency. Post one time a day on your posts, okay? And then for your story, post often. Guys, think of it like this, right? You want to be omnipresent. What does that mean? You want to be everywhere. So think of it like this. If you have followers on Instagram, you want to cross-promote to Snapchat, and to Facebook. Because let's say I'm your prospect, okay? And I'm like working at Taco Bell, Target, I hate my job, and I get home from work and I, got a, I had a bad day. I got fired. And I go to my Instagram and I see Abby. I go to my Snapchat, I see Abby again, oh my God. I go to my Facebook, Abby's there, living her best life in Spain. I'm gonna message Abby like, okay, yo, let's, let's do this. All right, that makes sense? So you have to be everywhere. So people say, what's the best platform to use? Use them all, right? I have not made a TikTok, but we just signed up a guy who has a million followers on TikTok. The kid's 18 years old. We had a launch call this afternoon. He's like, I'm broke, <laughs> is what it is, but I got a million followers. I have a huge following on TikTok. What can we do? And he's all in on trading, all into the company. He has five people that have huge following on TikTok. I don't even know how to, I don't even have the app on my phone. But he, he took advantage of that platform the, like the day it came out. So he went viral many, many different times. Okay? So those three things I would give you for social media. I don't want to spend too much time there. And, and remember, on, on a Q&A type call, we're all over the place. Okay? It is what it is. Take what you need from these questions and just apply a little bit of it. Okay? Because this could be very overwhelming but just to take what you need to hear. So out of everything I say on something, take one thing. Okay, so on our Platinum 600 and above call, last week, I gave some notes. Okay, and I'm gonna give those notes to you guys here today, because I believe, well, we have, some of you guys were on it, but some of you guys were not. Okay, so here's really the three types of calls that, need to take place in, in, in a thriving organization. Okay, so write this down. I don't like this red. Okay, in a thriving organization. So we talked about opportunity calls. I see Abby is doing an amazing job with that. Guys, you need to promote those calls. When my mentors were doing like introduction calls when I was brand new, and even to this day, if Jason says, yo, I'm doing an opportunity call in 20 minutes, I'm getting somebody on that call. Like it doesn't matter if I have 20 minute heads up or two days heads up. I'm getting somebody on that call, whether it's a follow-up, whether it's a new person, I'm getting somebody on that call. So make it a goal every day to have people on those calls, okay? The second type of call, we, we talk about rally calls. Um, not going to hit on that on this call, uh, but when you're almost platinum 600 or, or almost platinum 1,000, let me know, and we'll do a rally call for you, okay? And then the third type of call, and what I think Alexandra asked, is an off the fence call. Now this is great, everybody here can do this. On Friday night, write this down. 
I'm going to be doing one. Okay. And, and, and all it is, everybody here has already done it. Okay. It's just a cool name. All an off the fence call is, is it's for follow-ups. The call is designed for follow-ups. So let's say between you and your team, you expose a hundred people this week, 20 join the business. What do we do with the 80 others? You don't just see you later. Goodbye. Good luck. No, you have to have another call and you have to have from that, ex that, that last exposure, there needs to be an invitation to it, another exposure. Guys, if everybody on this call left this call and you've been in the business for, le for over a year and you just your follow-ups, you would be busy for the next five days, okay? Because I'm telling you, everybody here has, has people on, on their list that has not yet joined that will hit a rank in this company. Some of those ranks will be platinum 150. Some of those ranks will be chairman 10, chairman 100. Guys, Bryce Thompson, two and a half years ago, was a platinum 150. Guys, he has 30,000 people on his team right now. His upline, DL Woods, his, his, his enroller is a chairman 25. Imagine if you're a platinum, let's, let's scale that down. What if you're just a platinum 1,000, but then you expose that one person and they build a squad of 30,000 customers? Now, that's a needle in the haystack. It's not a lottery ticket. Don't have that mentality. <laughs> but what if you were a platinum 1,000 and you enrolled a chairman 100? That's one leg for a long time that you don't even got to look. Okay? So... 8 p.m. Eastern, uh, off the fence calls for follow-ups. Okay, so maybe do that twice a week, three times a week. You'll know when you need to do that. And even if it's a call like this, five, 10, 20 people, and you bring in Abby or you bring in me and we just talk to the follow-ups, but it's a little bit designed with more urgency and leverage. Like you're a little bit more aggressive on that call. You're like, hey, get off the fence and get into the game. Okay, get off the fence and get into the game. Okay, so let's go back to the list. Uh, what do you use? Okay, here's my process. I sign you up today. Here's what I do. Okay, very, very simple. I just enrolled somebody two days ago. Okay, what do I do? What does Mike Sotero do? I add them into the I Am Powerful Updates channel. They go through these videos, Chris Derrick videos. Well, Mike, why can't I do this with them? Okay, number one, there's no leverage in that. You're doing all the work. You're now going to be building a dependent-based business, meaning if you're not there, no, there, nobody's getting launched. That's not good. That's scary. Okay? Why do I have people watch these videos first? Because I need them to understand a couple things, but I need them to know that this system, everybody can plug into Everybody can do it. Write this down. When you're recruiting your training, when you're launching your training, everything we do, we're training. Right now, you're being trained subconsciously because when you're Chairman 10, I'm going to expect you to do Q&A calls with your organizations. Okay? So I add them here. They go through these videos. Okay? Very simple. We schedule a launch call. Okay? We schedule a launch call that day. Guys, those videos are 20 minutes, okay? It's, it's not a lot of time. Like two minutes, five minutes, you know, boom. That's done in 20 minutes. If I signed you up right now, let's say our launch call is at 8.30, okay? Write this down. If you can launch two people at the same time instead of doing two calls, do it together. If I sign up Tony and Janelle today, let's just do one launch call. Same time. Save, save time. Compound time, Okay? After the launch call, it's really simple. We get on Zoom. I answer your questions. I clarify, oh, you, you didn't set up the demo account. Let me help you do that real quick. And then I walk you through. In your I am center, there's five steps. So, so easy. There's five steps. There's a document in your back office that looks like this. All I do is I go through this document with you. Okay? So I sign you up right now. Let's say at 8.30, we do a launch call. Guys, the launch call is 15, 20 minutes, no more than that. Spend more time taking action because action trains. 
Okay, through action, you learn what to do, but you also learn what not to do. See, if you've never called a prospect before, if you've never called a prospect before, your first call is gonna suck. But then you're gonna get better. And then you're gonna get better. And then you're gonna get better. And then you're gonna be doing it subconsciously. And that's the place you have to get to. Okay, one second. Okay, so here are the five steps. So guys, I go through this very briefly with them. Okay, step one, guys, you know, let's say I'm launching Janelle and Abby, right? Janelle and Abby, you know, definitely welcome to the team. Uh, we got you plugged into the telegrams, all that stuff ready. You know, just really quick for accountability purposes is why are you doing this? Why did you get started? Step one. Now step two, they should have already done through the videos. So the videos that I just showed you guys, uh, the Chris Derrick videos, that already launched them. Now I'm just making sure, hey, did you get your MetaTrader downloaded? Did you log into your IM Center? And I'm just making sure like, they, know how to, they know how to do it. But they should have already gone through those videos. If I sign you up and you can't watch 20 minutes of videos, I don't have time to waste. I don't have time to convince you to do that. Get the videos done. Let me know. We jump on a call within a couple hour time period when I'm free. Okay? Now, if you haven't asked that person that just joined this question, now you would ask them, well, what type of person are you? Do you just want to trade, trade and get two and free, or trade and build a business? Okay? Now, let's say they're just the number one. Okay? I'm going to go directly to step five. And I'm going to say, okay, yo, John, I understand, man. You know, you just want to trade. You came into this business. You know, you came into this company just to trade. That's fine. But John, let me ask you something. Do you have the money for the subscription for the next 18 months? John, you want to become successful, right? John says, yes. Guys, when you ask questions to people, get them to verbally commit. Get them to verbally say yes. Because if I go, hey, Abby, you want to become successful? Oh, you want to become successful? Great. And she doesn't say anything. It never came out of her mouth. So there's no accountability. But if I say, Abby, you're, you want to go chairman, right? Yes, Mike, I'm going chairman by this date. You know, this is my goal. I have accountability now. Because now if Abby's slacking and she's not building the business, she get, you know, starts disappearing and going ghost. You know, Abby, 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 Abby. You said you wanted to go chairman 10 March 1st on your birthday. An example. It's January 1st. We got 90 days. Are you still serious about doing that? I created now accountability. So if somebody says they just want to trade, come back to that. Well, John, do you have the money for the subscription for the next 18 months? And you're okay with paying it? Now, if somebody's like, yeah, I got it. They're confident. They're good. Guys, I'm not going to convince you or anybody to build this business. Okay? But if they're like, uh, no, I don't. Well, John, okay, I understand. You just want to trade. But this is not a 30-day, let's see how it goes. You know, you don't even have money that you don't have money to put in your trading account. So I really take it. I would really take a look at two and free program or even platinum 600. Sound good. If we help you get free product. Yup. Assuming is, is this making sense? Just drop a yes in the chat box. So then I would just transition into, into step three and four with them. Now, if they're like, Mike, I want to get two and free. Mike, I want to build a business. Guys, I go straight through all these five steps. I teach them the PS3 like we just talked about, and I, and I move on. I'll give you guys a PS3 video uh, on my YouTube. It's unlisted. I got to send you guys the link. Uh, but it says how to enroll three customers to five-minute training that you can give people. When they're ready to start inviting, have them watch this video. Okay? And it talks about how to invite to a video, how to invite to a call. Okay, so that's my process. Let me just, let me do one thing at a time real quick. Let me get this video for you guys. You guys can keep asking questions. Uh, we got like 15 minutes. State Farm is announcing the Good Neighbor Relief. Awesome, okay. So that's the PS3 video. Um, so that's my process. I signed you up today, right now at 7.30. You watch the videos to get your stuff set up, your products, everything. I add you in the group chats. Um, for those that are in, you know, participating in the I am trader chat, 
okay? We're, I'm gonna be announcing this more on Sunday, but I kind of put a video here. Um, we're gonna do something in this chat called the opening bell and the closing bell. So everybody here that's an active customer is more than welcome to participate and be in this chat. Um, if you go inactive, we just remove you, it's really simple. So at 9 a.m. Eastern and at 11 p.m. Eastern, okay, you're gonna see more of it going into next week because not every, people are being lazy and not watching this video. But as you, as you enroll people, you can add them right away. So you see like how this guy was added, but there's no shout out. You can shout them out at the opening bell or the closing bell. So kind of like think of like the Forex markets or the futures markets open at 9.30 a.m., but we're gonna say close, opening bell 9 a.m. for the group chat. So welcome all of the new customers that joined that day. And then 11 p.m. Eastern, all the customers that join throughout the day, you have a chance to welcome them. Okay, so add them. When they join, add them right away. This is a great chat for social proof. But we need everybody, you know, and I don't ask people to do too many things for me, but we need to create and we need to continue to pour testimonials, profits, can go in this chat, not on social media. I'm using Go Live. Take a picture and post in there that you're using Go Live. See, if you don't post it, you're probably not doing it right? Posting is accountability. Okay. Posting is not promoting, but in, in, in a, in a, in an example like this, it's for accountability. So, um, like this, okay, this is great. The scanner alert paid. So if everybody's, okay, think of it like this for a second. If everybody's flooding this chat with, with, with testimonials, profit, I'm talking like 20, 30, 40, 50 a day using the tool. I use gold cup. I use this, I use that. Boom, 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 boom. And you, Tony adds a new customer who's skeptical but joins. He signs up for some reason, but then he joins this chat and he sees thousand traders, social proof like crazy. That could be the difference maker of that guy not doing it anything, like half-assing it, or actually going and building, or actually going out there and using the products. So we wanna create so much social proof that, it's, that it captures even the people in the business, right? You know, there's a saying that, you know, if you have a prospect, the event needs you, but if you don't have a prospect, you need the event. It's the same thing, okay, same thing. So who, who's committed to posting one thing in this chat a day? Trading, trading, this is the trading chat. Okay, if, you're, if you're committed to drop something, every time you're on go live, post a picture of what session you're watching. You know, every, you know, if you see something in the market on the scanner or on steady, post it in here. Okay? Use the other chats. That's not what I'm saying. Okay, and I'll give you guys the link to it. I think it's, uh, Abby will add you guys. Abby can add you guys if you're not in there after. Okay, cool. So that's how I launched somebody, super simple. Uh, Tony said, I, I, I love how you don't have total sales. <clears throat> Most of that stuff is garbage anyway that people post out. Like, how do you even calculate that? Like, people are funny. Uh, okay, let's see. Okay, Nick said, okay, Nick's right here. How do you find your prospects? Do they mostly come from your content? I would say both, Nick. You know, I am personally prospecting every day, but I'm also attracting people but here here's here's what i'll say is you can't post and pray that people hit you up what does that mean <clears throat> you can't post stuff and be like okay today i'm going to post three times a day and all my prospects are going to come from instagram no you're, you're going to be sitting there on your hands for a long time so um you know that today a few people hit me up on social media that doesn't happen though every day absolutely not absolutely not you have to be um, out there creating conversations, right? A conversation leads to an invitation. An invitation leads to a presentation. And a presentation leads to an enrollment into your business. So how do I find them? They're everywhere. Here's something that I do as well. Okay, you guys want to see this? So here's something I do as well. 
uh, just a side note, on my story, you know, you can see who looks at your story. So sometimes I'll, I'll go through it once in a while and I'll see people that I've never connected with. And I'll look at their page. I'll look at their page, like, let's see. Let me see if I can find somebody as an example. Okay, I'm just gonna click on this random girl, okay? Okay, so I, I'm on this girl's picture on her page. It says Argentina, Miami, New York City, FIU graduate, New York University MBA student, okay? Student, she has the camera reel, and on her page, she travels a lot. Her and her husband travel a lot. You can just tell that from looking at their page. So maybe I shoot her a message. Now, you gotta keep in mind, if you're a guy, prospect girl, you gotta, be, you gotta be very conversation different. Right, so I think I know her from school. So I could just be like, hey Sophie, when did you graduate FIU? You look familiar, hey, when did you graduate FIU? Or hey Sophie, uh, in, your, in that second picture on your page, what bridge is that? Because there's a picture of her and her family on a bridge. So I'm creating a conversation, um, and you know, then I lead to eventually, you know, how's the quarantine going? You know, has this affected your income? Stuff like that, okay? So, I'll answer like two more questions. I want to show you guys. I'm going to reply to this on a voice message so you guys can hear me what I say. But look at what this is what the guy said. Okay. I'm going to send a voice message from my phone. Read the bottom. Hey, Chance, uh, what's going on, man? And yeah, you know, I thought the same thing. I actually dropped out of college. Um, after like two and a half semesters. So I thought the same thing when it came to like the charts and the graphs. Uh, but the truth is, is that you don't need to know any of that. Um, you know, we have, you know, high school, not high school, but we have 18 year old, you know, kids per se that have gotten involved with the platform and have learned the skill of trading. My brother's a full-time college student, you know, crushing it on the charts. Uh, my dad's a retired police officer. And, you know, it doesn't matter where you come from or your background, um, you, can, you can have success. That's what the platform was created for uh, when it comes to the academy and the live sessions. But uh, what did you like best about everything? And uh, do you have any other questions? So I kind of just dodged his question because that's just an objection. That is saying that, you know, I don't think I'm good enough. So you just give stories of other people and you just relate to that. Okay. We'll see if he replies. Um, so glad that's recorded. All right. What is your process of following up? Uh, okay. So Jason gave me like a really good advice on that actually. So if I, if let's say, I, let's say I expose you today, right? First exposure. Wednesday. Okay. I'm going to come back over to that in a second. Never leave an exposure. without the next one book, okay? So if, if I expose you to, let's say, to the video today, you meet Abby, um, you know, you see everything, but maybe you don't have the time or the money or whatever, and you don't get started, okay? You know, I always assume that they're gonna join on the exposure, okay? On that exposure, I'm not, I don't like using the word close, but I'm, 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 I'm asking for the sale. I'm saying, okay, are you ready to get set up? Are you ready to get started? Why? Because I have two people in my holding tank. If you get started today, I have two people I can place in your business. Okay, but you got to get started today. But let's say they don't join today. So it's, it's called like the law of two. So, or, or like two, okay, so here's I'll explain it. So today's the first exposure. The next exposure would be two days from now. So it would be Friday. The second, this would be the second exposure. Now, if they don't get started Friday, Instead of two days, now it's four days. So now it's Monday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So then this, the third exposure would be two, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. It would be next Tuesday, right? And then you just keep doing that. Then it would be eight days. And then you just keep following up. <clears throat> like people ask, well, when do I reach back out to that person? That's a good, okay, today, two days from now, four days from now, eight days from now, right? And you know, you do that long enough, and you come back and circle the wagon and you update people on your success. Hey, John, I just wanted to update you. Eighth exposure. John, what's going on, man? 
hope you're doing well. Life is great, but you know, by this point, you're, you know, you're, you're, you're months into this or even a year into this, you're into it. You're like, yo, you know, I just you know, hit the level of platinum 1000. Just want to give you an update. Uh, wh what are you doing? And you hit somebody, you hit somebody up on that day that they're contemplating life. They don't know about their job. They have uncertainty. Uh, they get started. It's like, think of it like this. This is a weird example, but my mentor said this to me years ago and I remembered it. He said, let's say you're in the process of moving and you need a bed, like you don't have a bed, right? He said recruiting is about timing, right? And you need a bed. And I call you and you get a random phone call from mattress firm or mattress city or whatever, right? Uh, I almost said Home Depot, let's say somebody that sells mattresses and they got a 50% sale, it makes sense, you pull the trigger and you buy the bed, right? You just buy it because it was that time for you to move on and you needed a bed. Gotta have a place to sleep, right? But let's say, you're living in your dream house. You got a water bed. You got four beds in your house. You're, you're good. And you get that same phone call. You're not buying the bed, right? What can you take away from what I just said is that it was not the right time. But when you continue to expose, to expose, to expose, eventually it will be the right time, right? Jason and Matt like literally followed up with me for four and a half, five months consistently. Okay. Uh, uh, we're going to do one more question. Okay, one more question. Um, Abby, I think I answered that, right? What do you do on your launch call? Okay. Yeah, if you guys want to just throw one more question in the chat box, uh, we can answer that real quick. I, can, I, can I just ask this question? Absolutely not. No, I'm just kidding. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so let's just, let's just say if you had to restart your entire business from scratch, what would you do first? If you, if you had to just, let's just say if you took, if you had all the information from the last couple of years from your experience yep. and you had to start brand new, what would you do now? You know, for like someone who's new. That's, that's probably the best question I've heard in a while. It's uh, a million dollar question right there. Yeah. It's a good question to close out this call too. So uh, here's what I would do, okay, is I would focus, okay, I would do two things. With my mindset, I would raise my standard of my life very quickly. I would say, who, who you know, who, who do I, where do I want to go financially, okay? And, and, and I would set that standard, okay? Ten, if it's 10,000 a month, it's 10,000 a month. If it's platinum 2,000, it's platinum 2,000. But I would immediately raise my standard for life. Uh, because when I came into this, my life was going backwards and I, and I immediately had to realize because I had never made 10 grand in a month. I got close, but I had to realize that 10 grand a month is not a lot of money. <clears throat> when you guys get there, you'll realize some of you guys are there in your jobs or businesses or whatever. <clears throat> you'll realize not a lot of money. It's a lot of money to somebody who's never experienced it before. Okay. 20 grand a month. I thought that was a lot of money. And then you get there, you're like, oh, I could spend $15,000 this week if I really, if I, if I travel enough, right? Stuff. I go to London, you know, water bottles in London are $10. So, so on, the, on the mindset side, raise the standard right away. When I say standard, the belief, the confidence, the posture about where you're going, okay? On the what to do part, I would go a lot faster. And when it comes to prospecting, I would recruit up, okay? I would go recruit and talk to people of influence, now, not messaging random people on Instagram that have a blue check mark, because most of those people buy it anyways. You know, it's nine thousand, ten thousand dollars. You can buy a blue check mark. Okay, I would, I would reach out to people who are in real estate. I would reach out. I had a real estate agent yesterday in a group chat with me tell me that this is a pyramid. I said, bro, what broker do you work for? Keller Williams. Keller Williams opens up offices, and like he was just so close-minded. And that's why he's struggling in real estate because his mindset. But yesterday, I completely broke his pattern, made him realize that he got recruited to work at a Keller Williams office that they're getting commissions off of him. And he's like now about to go all in with this because he's like, okay, I can make more money from home. Um, and I can't really go sell houses right now. So I would go recruit up in the business, okay? And my calendar 
has to match my standard, okay? You know, t today, like I said, I woke up at 10 a.m. I went to sleep at five, so I slept five hours. Um, I woke up, I had a, I had a call at 11, a uh, prospecting call, I had a call at 12, I had a launch call with the, with the tip top guy at one, went to the gym from one to two and at two and 2.30, eight, had a call at 4.30, 5.30, 5.45, 6.00, this is the seven o'clock call. I got a call in five minutes, call at nine, call at 10. And then I'm gonna do an Instagram live here tonight. So your calendar, Tony, in the beginning, and this goes for everybody, must match where you desire to go in your income. And the last thing I'll say is always do more than you're paid for. So in the beginning, you look at your business and you look at your income like, okay, here's a good example. You, you, you wanna go platinum 1,000. You get the Platinum 1000. If you continue to do what a Platinum 1000 does, you'll continue to earn as a Platinum 1000. You might even go backwards to Platinum 600 because you're never going forward. You're never, going, you're never staying the same. You're either going forward or backwards. So if you say my standard right now is like 5,000 a month, I need to go Platinum 5000. I deserve it. I want it. It's in my heart. I believe it. You got to look at what P5000s are doing. Okay. Steve Max, a great example, just hit P5000. I have two more on my team about to pop this week. Um, you look at what he's doing, okay? And he's doing an opportunity call every night. He's prospecting every night. He, he sent me a picture right now, me and Jason, uh, for accountability. I'll show you guys, okay? You should do this too. This is a great idea. So many chats. He sent a picture. Of, of, of his goals, but the way he did it was powerful. Okay, hold on, let me find it for you guys. Okay, here it is. So he sent a picture. Let me see if I can make this. You guys might be able to see it uh, in the video. So he sent a picture of his goals and then his top leaders with their names and their next goal. Okay. So like on my phone, like this is something, this is something minor, minor that everybody can do today. Right. When, when people hit me up, I don't have this for everybody, but when people hit me up and people start building, I change their name in my phone to where they're going, not to where they've been. When Steve was a platinum 1000, I changed his name in my phone and I put hit, I put where I see that he could go. Chairman 10. When he gets there, this will change. Okay, so I would change everybody in your team's contacts names today to where they're going, not to where they've been or where they are today. Um, extremely powerful. Minor things, but subconsciously you start to see that. And then you start to believe that for that person. This guy just replied back? No, not him, somebody else. Okay, then eventually you start to believe that your belief transfers into somebody else. So to close off this call and before I pass it back to Abby, raise the standard of what, of what you want. Okay, if I had to start over today, I had no income, I had nothing, no team, I would say, okay, this is where I need, this is where I'm going. I would get a clear head and I would, and I would, I would set out that 90 day goal, that 90 day plan and it has to match my calendar. Expose 20 people a day. Follow up with 10 people a day. Uh, do a presentation every day. Okay, if you're on this call and you're working with, you know, Angel or Abby or whoever, Alexandra, you gotta stay close to the fire, okay? And there's no reason that if we do a Q&A call in 30 days from now, there's not 50 people on it or 100 people on it. Okay, by yourself, you can do a little bit. But together, you can do so much more. So stay near this fire um, and understand that the company going in momentum does nothing for you if you're not in momentum yourself in your business, okay? People are messaging me in my team. And they're like, I'm so happy this company's going into momentum, but they're not P150 yet. I'm like, what are you talking about? Why are you texting me this? You have to work. Bryce Thompson going Chairman 500 does nothing for none of us except raise our belief. But action-wise, 
guys, we can break a chairman 500 every day in this company. And one day, right? Uh, glory to God, right? That he allows it to happen. It means nothing for you. If you're not in position, okay? If you're not in the business, if you're not growing your organization, okay? Understand that. And understand that the number one income earner is not yet a part of this company. And that one conversation that you're too scared to have, guys, somebody says no, they're losing out. I don't care if they make a million a year or they have a million followers, I don't care. If they say no to this, they're missing out, not you. Speak to everybody about it. The worst thing they say is no, the best thing they say is I'm going chairman 10 and they do it, and that's in your organization, okay? You go recruit up, you go give the opportunity to everybody, and then you let them decide if they're gonna do it or not. You should never decide. You know what, Tony's gonna get the magic wand, Tony's gonna be good. No, I was not supposed to be here. Statistically, not supposed to be here. Bryce Thompson, probably not supposed to be there either. David Imanite, probably not. Matt Rosa, probably not. Because if you saw all of us, or just an example, any chairman or every, any educator, if you saw them where they were before, you would, you would not, it just wasn't supposed to happen. But because somebody had enough courage to open up their mouth, I was a referral into the industry. So if I started over right now, everybody's getting a phone call. If I'm not calling them, I'm deleting their number out of my phone. That's what I'm doing. So uh, I appreciate you guys. Uh, Abby, I'm gonna pass it back to you. Awesome, Mikey, I appreciate you. I know you gotta run. Um, we are all so grateful that you were able to jump on this call. Hopefully you guys took some valuable notes. You got your questions answered. Um, and for those of you that were on here and asked questions, I appreciate you guys for dropping that in there. I learned a ton. I mean, I've got pages full of notes right here. Um, really, really excited. Guys, I'm just going to recap um, doing Zoom overviews. Guys, we're all able to tap into these Zoom overviews Sunday through Friday at 3 p.m. Eastern and 9 p.m. Eastern. I'm going to start the 9 p.m. next week officially, and I'm going to have all the Zoom links the same. Okay, so we can stick to one consistent Zoom link. Um, make sure you guys are leveraging these. And if you want an intro, if you want an intro, share your story, get good at edification and sharing your story and introing, message me and we can get you guys on these calls to develop these skill sets and eventually start doing your own calls. Because like Mikey said, I mean, there were so many things that, that I pulled from this, but the biggest thing that he said was like, envision who you guys want to be, what rank you guys want to be, whatever it may be, and ask yourself, what are they doing? What's a chairman, do, chairman 10 doing on a regular basis? And I was writing some things down. Alex Morton does like 10, 12 calls a day. So I'm like, I at least have to do my own calls. Okay. So I appreciate you guys. I'm going to wrap this up. This is a long call. We do have it recorded. So I'm going to drop it in the chat so you guys can reference it. Send it to anybody that missed it. Um, Mikey, again, we appreciate you. Be safe out there. Talk to y'all later.